when you kill it last night, they would have been feasting away as much as they could. Hey, big girl. She's not quite ready to lay down yet. She's actually filthy. It almost looks like she's been laying underneath a car and she's got covered in sul her covered herself in oil. Can you see on her shoulder? Oh, one of the little cubs is moaning. Can you see her moving around here? What on earth could you be moaning about? Have you maybe got a tummy ache? If you've got a tummy ache, that is understandable. But you can't possibly be hungry. Look, <laughs> Look how fat it is. If you ate any more, your stomach would be touching the ground. And they are greedy little cubs, though. They do try and eat as much as they can, and I'm sure that they know that the milk is not going to be around for, for very much longer. Oh, look at this lioness. It's coming towards, straight towards us now. Wow. Bless you. This is so cool. She's right next to the door. Just keeping a close eye on us. Hey, beautiful. That was amazing. You can see this is the one with the injury on her shoulder. And it looks like it's healing well. That means a small injury like that would never really harm her. But what we're going to do now is we're actually going to reposition again to around where the kill is. But it might take a bit of maneuvering. But here come the cubs. What are you guys doing? Following the lioness that's just got up. There's little floppy ear. There she comes. Hi, girly. Well, now they're all getting up. Where are they going? Isn't that lovely? All moaning. Floppy, why are you making such a noise? She's actually looking a little bit better. Her tail looks like it's grown the hair back on it again. A bit scraggly still, but still got the hair, which is nice. I think she's, she's looking much better. And at least she's full this time as well. She's got a big belly. Here come the red, older siblings. One little girl, one little boy. Oh, quick toilet break. Another lion sneezing. Bless you back there. There they go. Right, let me go backwards. Let's reverse a little bit. So we can catch them. I don't know where they're going now. Maybe they're all going to go drink water. If they go and drink water, we, I think we're going to follow them because right here, we're going to see what these lions get up to. It might be quite exciting, so don't disappear for too long. But back to James in the tent we go. James is in the